let's discuss a film that makes you feel smarter for understanding it. Annihilation to me is a film success story. It received a ton of backlash upon its announcement and had to go through hell to be released as intended, only to be released to critical acclaim. It's one of my favourite films of 2018. People criticised the casting choices. Producers labelled the film too intellectual and complicated when test audiences reacted negatively to it. And they demanded changes to make it have a broader appeal. Oh, fucking blow me. These were rightly ignored, and its artistic vision kept intact. But a deal was struck to have it release on Netflix only 17 days after its premiere, ruining a lot of box office hopes. What did it cost? Everything. A meteor lands in the United States and starts to emit a dome of strange energy that is given the name The Shimmer and it grows larger and larger over the land. Any teams that enter the Shimmer don't return, until one day a man named Kane emerges in weak condition and with memory loss. Then Kane's wife and a team of science experts in various fields of study decide to venture in themselves and encounter the horrors that lie within. The characters are all interesting and have their own arcs. I was really worried they were just going to be bodies waiting to be killed off, but luckily that's not the case. You okay? Fine. Just leave me the fuck alone. They all have inner conflicts to confront, satisfying ends to their arcs, and throughout the film, details of their life we never knew before change our perception of who they are, as well as their motives for going into the Shimmer. The best feature in the film is that when this team enters the Shimmer, they discover it causes a mass scale event known as genetic refraction. It's complicated, but in basic terms, the Shimmer rewrites your genetic code and rips it apart along with any other genetic material in the area, then splices everything together again. All your flesh gels with everything else in proximity to you very gradually. What are you talking about? Your own body on a molecular level distorts, so you might splice with nearby vegetation and have plant life grow out your skin. Or your voice box can meld with a nearby animal, with the results always horrifying to behold. Even if you survive all of this, your mind will slowly come apart at the seams too, as your brain is affected and your sense of reality distorts so massively you either resort to suicide, like characters in the movie, or you'll eventually succumb to madness until the other effects take hold. Imagine dying frightened and in pain and having that as the only part of you which survives. I wouldn't like that at all. Its 6.9 out of 10 IMDb rating and C-grade cinema score is indicative of the main problem of the movie, its inaccessibility to a casual audience. It's a complex film, filled with a lot of deep meaningful ideas and biological techno-science. I watch shit like this all the time, so I was utterly mesmerised. But to a casual viewer who's used to Inception being the most mind-bending film imaginable, they'll probably be confused and simply get bored due to its slow pace. You still don't properly understand what happens in Ocean's Eleven, do you? It's a complicated film. It also leaves a lot of plot elements open to interpretation. The entire climax has me completely stumped and with various conclusions as to what the hell happened, until I watched it again to come to a firm conclusion. It's a curious mystery that takes you on a weird trip with gorgeous imagery. Even something as simple as Natalie Portman having sex is beautifully framed and has a tone unlike any other. The film is goddamn stunning to look at. It also has a bevy of stomach-churning body horror. It's some of the best you'll ever see in a film, and the special effects are top of the line. There is of course the infamous scene with a screaming bear that will haunt your nightmares for weeks, but that is only a small slice of the strangeness that unfolds within its runtime. If I was to sell the film to someone, I'd say it's like a remake of Stalker, but improved in every single way. Also, quick shout out to the Focus Cinema score as when you search for this movie, it also shows you that they gave Mortal Kombat Annihilation a higher grade than this. <laughs> That's just embarrassing.
Annihilation is a bold film that takes a lot of risks and they almost always pay off. Go in with the right mindset to take it all in and you'll assuredly leave hungering for more like it. <laughs>